All right, let's let's get this started. So, you know, just like we just like we said last time, we need an orchestration service, and this orchestration service will basically kind of uh, help us, you know, take in um, uh, uh, expressions, process these expressions, and then basically bring us back. So, the first scenario, we're getting in Sam. We're getting in a O data query. And we're throwing out a an expression, an iQueryable, basically. Clear? Is that good? Yes. Check the what did the curly string? Yeah, the string. The and string comes the, in, goes out. As only the curly string. Yeah, only the query string for now. We we no, gonna do. Mm, mm. Mm. No, iQueryable. We will do the I queryable. We will do that. But the first scenario is to just do that, you know, O data. So let me show you here. Mm -hmm. So here is here is the map. So what are the conversions? You get an O data query, you get an expression. Or you pass an expression, you get an O data query. That's the other way around, right? And then we have all these other options. So now we need an O query orchestration service. And this OQuery orchestration service, what it basically is going to do is that it's going to go and say, give me an input, you know, that I can go and turn into an expression, maybe an O, an o token or something like that. And then it's going to turn it back into, into an expression. Does that make sense? No? Yeah. yeah? Yeah. Okay. So how do we know, you know, how this works? What does this guy return, right? So let's go back to OData here. Here is our O data query. Here's the expression. So let's see here. Services orchestrations. So do we have or yeah, there it is. So this orchestration service here is giving us back an O token. Right? This O token inside of it, we modified it a little bit. It has the raw value, the tokens, and all that good stuff. Right? Our orchestration service. It's supposed to create an O expression and pass it to the expression uh, 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 service, right? So this O expression service in here, this guy takes in an O expression. Inside that O expression, you will cite, you'll find the O token and a raw query and an empty expression like this. And then it will take care of creating that for us. Good, bad. So let's do this. Let's go here and do an O, O expression, O query, O queries, <laughs> right? And O queries is going to be an orchestration service. Let's do this. By the way, if you upgrade your Visual Studio to the uh, preview edition with, um, which version? Uh, the the preview, the preview I, I 20... the 20, 20, uh, 2022 preview. Preview two. Preview 2. Point, yeah, there's preview 2.0. Yeah, a point zero, a two point zero. Yeah, that's good. It you wouldn't need to have this dialogue and all that. Oh, query orchestration. No, I I can't see the dialogue. You can't see the dialogue. Okay. So you try to show us a dialogue. No, no, no. I know, I know. No, I was just say, saying that this is an option that you can have. Okay. <laughs> Okay, so okay, here's here's what this guy is taking. We need some kind of a unified model that will basically go and say internally I'm going to receive something, you know, and externally I'm going to get back a a a something else, something like an a a, a model, the virtual model that basically takes in that O token and basically passes it downstream, you know, through an O expression. Okay? So that basically means that we need a thing that takes an O expression. So process O token and returns an exp expression as well, O expression. So the coordination service is going to build that one for us. Take the O expression, output the O expression. Yeah, but the O expression that is being passed in 
doesn't actually have all the information and it needs to be processed like an empty piece of paper and then the other service puts the ink and, and the writings and everything in all, else on it that's that's the honoring the single contract kind of thing okay so what are our dependencies sam in this situation let's do this a moment control ke here you go let's do this O query orchestration serves. I still can't see the dialogue. Yeah, yeah, you um, won't. Yeah, the StreamYard is garbage. <laughs> so <laughs> let's do this. And then let's go here and say I O query O query orchestration service. There you go. And then implement that guy. Let me minimize a little. How big is this guy now? 82 lines 82 lines is okay so what are our dependencies right we have a bunch of dependencies that we need to work with we created a bunch of these foundation services right so i'm going to go here and say uh, uh, uh read only and then i o expression service so that's one right we also have a bunch of others like private read only i uh uh o sequels o sequel service o sequel service right and we also have the um the o queries service so private read only i o query service that's the o query service this is the guy that's going to give us back um uh, what what did we do in this o query service here we basically went and said take in an expression and return it back as a raw query and i bet what it's doing is that it's talking to the SQL query, ah, it's giving it back to me in SQL format. I love it. I love it. Uh, and then it, it does the SQL parts, and then it returns a join. Yeah, it generates an OK. OK, this is perfect. This is beautiful. I think we have most of the stuff that we need here. OK, let's put the, the dependency injection in here. Here you go. And let's do. So these are our injections and then let's go and do uh the other parts what what's what's the next step for us here sam we need to write some tests right actually more important than the tests, we need to create a branch users hassan habib orchestrations i know you can't see that one and then mm -hmm. all query and then process okay okay we have a branch Right, my friend. And then <clears throat> let's go write a test for that one. So this is your uh, O queries. And here is an O query test file. Uh, o query orchestration. O query orchestration service tests. Okay, so I have this guy. Come on, here we go. And then public partial like that. And then we need a bunch of mocks, right? So mock I uh, O expression service, O expression service mock, and then private. Here you go, private read only mock I O query service. This is oquery service mock. And then we also, what do we have, Sam? I O SQL service. Oh, yes. Yeah, I O SQL service, which is O SQL service mock. And then the last one is the service itself. So I O query orchestration service, and that's O query orchestration. Okay, cool. Let's do the this guy. Great, great. And then let's see here. So let's set these up. So O expression service. Come on, help me out. New. Uh, new mock. No, I was hoping the. <laughs> okay, Sam. <laughs> um, no, this it's not this one that we need. We need the dependency, right? So let's go mm -hmm. back here. So I usually just what what do I do, Sam? I usually just put the mock itself. So I just say mock like that, and it finds all the things that I need, right? There you mm -hmm. go. That's what I was looking for. And it didn't help me out because it didn't have a mock in it. So, okay. And then, oh, uh, SQL 
there you go and then here is your service equal new all query orchestration service and let's put these in o expression object this dot o query service object and then the last one this dot o sql object right we need to put the parameter names in here <clears throat> so how are you doing sam how's it going with you so much so good Did you have fun Did you have a good vacation time <laughs> <laughs> all right okay so uh, it's, it's the middle of the january it's already the middle of january what, what happened to time time went away what are we going to do with that i mean holiday has passed yeah next so holiday a couple months later yeah oh I went, uh. next monday is a holiday yeah we're we have a long weekend right a so, lot of people huh. so i think we will have a session on next monday you want to have a session with me on monday <laughs> <laughs> the next one not this one the next one okay 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 brother that's fine should process uh o expression and how it's going to do that we're going to give it some o expression and we need to make sure that it goes and it basically passes that o expression properly downstream to the o expression service right and this o expression will come back processed that's all that it is it's taking that o expression taking it down there so i'm gonna go here and say random o expression and i think if i'm not mistaken sam i think at some point in time we wrote something to randomize there it is great o expression filler great random o expression i need these guys and then i'm gonna go down here Throw these guys here. This is great. Throw all that nonsense away. I just need these two things. Great. And then back to my test here. Create random O expression. There you go. Come on. O expression. Right. And then O expression input O expression. Right, and then uh, we also expect a. We want a completely brand new one that will be the returned value, and we want to make sure that that value is actually what happens. So I want to go and say O expression random returned O expression. Mm -hmm. Right, because it's not going to be well. It's going to be updated. That's what they're going to do. Okay, fine. Let's do that. O expression um, uh, uh, returned. O expression, which is input dot deep clone. Do we have the deep cloner? We must have the deep cloner somewhere here. Deep clone. Yeah. Oh yeah. Good job. And then uh, O expression expected. O expression. There you go. Right. So uh, now I want to set up my mock. So this is your mock. O expression service mock setup service and then the service dot uh, generate o expression async ah it's asynchronous interesting okay and then we're going to pass in the input expression and then we're going to say this guy returns asynchronously what does it return it returns the returned o expression or generated o expression let's give it a better name that reflects the value the generated o expression Right, and then why this guy's tripping? It's saying, oh, it needs to take a, th a type of some type. Okay, let's just say object for now. It wants a type because that's how it generates. Oh, yeah, that's right. I remember now. It wants a type because that's how it kind of does the mapping for us. So that means our contract will change just a tiny bit. So instead of this, this will be a value task of a an expression but this guy also has a t-type that gets passed in here and this t-type is basically what we rely on to kind of do uh yeah so so let's see here so this is that guy i want to make sure the implementation also reflects that 
We should have a little red line in here. Here we go. So we have the suffix async. Yeah, good job. Yes, thank you. That's the, my man, Sam, Sam, Sam. There mm -hmm. he is. Sam is alive, my man. Okay. No, I tried to catch up with you. <laughs> <laughs> I, I love you, brother. Bless your heart. Bless your heart. Okay, so this is good. Now we expect, so here now, expression, actual, or expression. I have expected when we're going to have actual, right? So that's await this dot service dot gener uh, process o token. And that's your input O token expression. And then we want to go and say actual expression should be equivalent to expected O expression. Good. And then this guy needs an object as a thing. And that's okay. We can do that. Um, okay. What else do we want to verify here? We want to basically go and say this mock, the O expression service. We want to verify that this service has been called precisely with these parameters. So generate, you know, with object input and has been called only one time. Here's a, here's a nice one for you, Sam. If you're processing with some sort of a, if you're working with some sort of a, so, sort of an API, right, and you want to see if your if your business logic will throw a timeout exception if it takes too long, watch this. You can do this. You can say this is the value, and you can say I want to introduce a fictitious delay from a time span, right? So you can go say if it goes over three seconds, what happens? Pretty cool tick, right? Pretty cool, yeah. More async and with a delay for three seconds. Yeah, so it's not going to give you the feedback until three seconds pass, and you can use that trick to basically go and say. I want to test if my business logic or validation will throw an exception if it takes too long, mm. if the dependency takes too long. It's pretty cool, right? Yeah? Did you already know about this? No? no. Okay, if it's going to cost you $5 there. Quickly, please. I accept uh, PayPal I only and Venmo. I huh? ordered a new. Oh, did I order a new? <laughs> okay, Sam. All right, so... <laughs> Hey, it's good to have you back, man. It's really fun to kind of write code with people and do that fun stuff. Okay, so now what? Now we just need to verify all the mocks, right? So verify no other calls. All the mocks, right? All the O query, verify no other calls, VNOs, VNOs. And then there is also the O SQL VNO. That test should fail. Something tells me it's going to fail, Sam. What do you think? Do you think it's going to fail? Yeah, it's not implemented. It did you That's express what... in the generator or express or, or token async? Yeah. Watch this. Let me show you a huge problem in the uh, test framework. This here will fail, right? Let's just wait for it. It will fail, right? Because it's not implemented exception, right? Watch this. If I flip this to value task like this, watch what happens. Mm -hmm. Watch. It says pass. <laughs> it says pass. <laughs> Do you know why? Because XUnit doesn't know how to work with value task yet. It knows how to work with task. I mean, the code is merged. It's just not released yet, right? And it's going to take them a while. It's really sad. It's it's a bug in XUnit? It's not a bug. They, I mean, they're trying to keep up with C Sharp, and C Sharp introduced value task. And mm -hmm. then they're like, okay, we need to allow our tests to do that. It's technically, is it a bug? Maybe, maybe it is sort of. So anyway, that's why that's the only reason I use task in here. Okay, mm -hmm. I'm gonna run it one more time. You, you won't see me use task anywhere else except in here, or maybe when I do win all and wait all and stuff like that. It'd be nice if they had something like that with value task though. That would be cool. Okay, are we getting the right error message though? Yeah, the methods are operation. So okay, so. Sam, you have a failing test. I have a failing test. Let's go, my brother. Make it rain. Yeah. Uh, hold on. Let me open. Sam, shoot. I tried to find the location. 
It's a long time. It's been a, it's been a while. <laughs> it's been a while. It's not, some 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 has been uh, it's been out of out of the game for a while. <laughs> What's the branch name? The branch name is users Hassan Habib slash orchestrations o query dash process. So just look for orchestrations dash o query. You should find it. You know, when you have naming con conventions for your branches, things get a lot easier. Oh, it just pushed. So let's do it. Okay. So, so, so the first thing you need to have is Visual Studio. Do you have Visual Studio installed? <laughs> <laughs> you asked the same question. I'm not Paul. You're not Paul. You're not Paul. Yeah, I'm not Paul. He, he was hanging out with me this morning. I think he got busy. Him and Callum, they got a little busy. Yeah, where is he we'll, here? We'll keep it going. He's, he's, uh, we were, we were talking about some really, uh interesting you'll see it on my youtube channel you subscribe to my youtube channel or no you're gonna have to subscribe i think so you have to subscribe if you don't I subscribe did. i'll be sad i'll be very sad I did. okay you have to subscribe it's very important you know what i say at the end of every video don't forget to like and subscribe <laughs> all right run all the tests let's see yeah, there it is. Should process O expression. It should be failed. Should fail. I see. For all intents and purposes. Running, running, running. Run, na, 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 na. <laughs> there you go. Do you know how nice to make it fail. pass? It would be nice. <laughs> uh i think i know how to make it pass okay if you know how to make it pass i'm gonna be very happy so uh, return all expression well well let's call the service first right yeah cause this one yeah Do, do, yeah, just do just do return or fat arrow it. That should take care of everything. I'm gonna play like that. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Run the test. It should be fair because there's no room for the all. There you go. Huh? Yeah, you did it. Right. No other call, no other call. Yeah, there's no other calls for anything oh, else. Oh, yeah. Except for the ones that we already verified, right? Hmm. So, is this a pattern? No. Yep, pass. That's perfect, it. perfect, Sam. Perfect. So, so um, there's a couple of things that we need to do now for um uh, for the tests for our next session just come back with a failing test for validation that if the o expression is null it should throw an exception that's all i want from you and you know we're cutting this session a little bit short because you know it took me kind of a half an hour to kind of figure out Streamyard and all that kind of stuff but this is the only thing i want from you sam okay we've done it a thousand times just just get that you know validation so we need to throw a, a null exception, which is a validation exception, when the O expression that's passed in is null. That's it. Sounds good. So the null expression, okay. So it's take that, good. yeah, take that as a homework, you know, and we will connect again. You know, Monday is off. You're going to be off Monday, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so we'll connect Wednesday. What do you think about that, Wednesday? So Wednesday, I'm okay um, from 8 a.m. Okay, 8 a.m. Wednesday we talk. Okay. 8, 8. 8. Do, do, you know, do you know, understand this one? 8. 8. So this is 9, right? 9. Okay. 8. 8. Okay. 
Okay. Ten. And, and, and what is this? I'm, I'm thinking. <laughs> I'm thinking, right? I'm thinking. I love you, brother. Bless your heart. <laughs> so, okay. I'll, I'll, I'll see you Wednesday. And of course, you know, for people, you know, watching, you know, make sure you, you know, drop any questions or comments. Sam and I are basically wrapping things up. This is the end, you know, of this long journey. This is video. Sam, this is session number 72 or 73. So <laughs> that's amazing. Just, just to see, you know, all these engineers come together. I just want to show people that it takes a whole village for something like that to happen. Um, I'll see you. I'll see you on Wednesday. Okay, my friend. Take care. <laughs> Thank you. Bye.